Hi everyone, I'd like to thank Karen over at Oilfields for uh, pointing this one out to me. Um, if you're using Google Meet, uh, there is a tool that goes very well along with it to provide some whiteboarding tools and the ability to share on a drawing pad. And that tool is um, Google's Jamboard. So you can see here I have signed in to, or I've got Google open. And as you may or may not know, these little uh, nine buttons here, these are uh, referred to as a waffle icon because it looks like a waffle. Um, when I'm on the Google home page, it does give me my usual list of different uh, tools, including Google Classroom, Google Drive, etc. But if you scroll down a little bit to the bottom, you will see one of your options is Jamboard. Now Jamboard works very similar to any other Google uh, tool like Google Docs or Google Sheets. Um, they're shared the same way. It's part of your Google Suite so you have access to this. But it's a very simple tool that allows drawing on a um, open platform. So if I just go ahead, if I'm in here, you can see I've got one uh, jam that I've started earlier. But I'm just going to go ahead and just start a new one. And so I'll just hit the plus key and it brings up just a regular uh, whiteboard, which actually I can do whatever I like on. I can draw on it or I can put images on it, etc. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the slide feature on this and I'm going to paste in a screenshot of a math question or a physics question that I uh, had come across. So I'll just paste as I normally would from my clipboard. And sure enough, up it pops with the image of the question. And I'm going to just put this at the top of the page because that's what I'd like to go through with my students. Then I might actually go up to the top here, maybe create a new frame, and this frame might have a different question on it that I can scribble on as, uh, as need be. So I'm going to go back to the first one. Now here's where Jamboard gets really powerful. Jamboard Although it looks like a simple drawing app, because you can share it just like in Google. So from here, of course, you can take the link, you can change how that link is used. So typically I would probably say um, anyone in Foothill School Division with a link is the most logical way of uh, offering this. Um, once I've done that, all I have to do is hit save and this link I can copy to my clipboard and I can paste that into a chat, into an email, etc. You don't even need to worry about uh, adding multiple students. You can also add this link, by the way, to your Google Classroom. And because the kids have to be logged into their GM accounts, um, the Google Classroom will work just fine. All right, so once I've done that, my next step is to go into my, uh, my cell phone app or for the student to go into uh, their cell phone app and start the Jamboard app. And they can do that by simply clicking on the link that, uh, that I've put forward. And you can see um, this is kind of what the screen looks like now inside the app. Um, you can see under uh, the physics question that it shows up as that it is linked, um, that it, it is shared so other people can get onto it. But this is where it gets really neat because now I can go into that Jamboard app and I can actually start to solve the question and watch what happens on the teachers board as a student begins to, to solve this question so maybe I might do uh, maybe I might know from uh, from physics that uh, distance is equal to velocity times time What's really neat though is I can actually jump now into page two and even though I'm not looking at page two on the teacher's view, the student could actually write something. We don't know that that's been written. However, if I go on to the uh, second page, we can see that that's there. So you could actually give each student a page in this and they could write on that directly. Um, another thing that's really handy, especially if you're recording feedback, which is another great way to use this tool, um, you can do things like there is a laser pointer. Oops, I'll switch over into the uh, cell phone app. Uh, so a laser pointer that'll let you uh, draw circles around things and then you can see on the app it follows through. 
Um, there's also a, uh, a notepad. So if I go sticky note, I can say a little smiley face there because it was a, uh, a useful piece of information. Now I hit cancel, I can even move that around to different parts of the page. And you could have students, for example, write uh, comments into a sticky note and post them all over the uh, written work. Um, there are lots of other ways of using this, but uh, that'll give you the, the place to get started. Um, I should note that if you hit the uh, little arrow next to the pen, uh, it gives you lots of different pen sizes and uh, different colors as well, so that can be helpful as well. Anyway, let me know if this is useful, and um, feel free to ask if you have an idea for another video.